this video we are going to solve a problem based on the measurement of inductance using Maxwell inductance capacitance bridge. So let's start with our problem. So our problem is we are given an inductance of 0.2 Henry and 20 ohm resistance which is measured by comparison with a fixed inductance of 0.1 Henry and 40 ohm resistance. Now they are connected as shown in the figure. We are going to draw the figure for it. And the unknown inductance it is in arm AB and the standard inductance is in arm BC. And a resistance 750 ohm is connected in arm CD and a resistance whose amount is not known is in arm DA. We have to find out the value of the resistance in arm DA and we have to show that any additions are required to achieve the balance for the bridge. So let's see the circuit for this bridge. So the circuit for this is in we are having four arms in the bridge. Arm AB is having a resistance R1 and L1 which are connected in series. Then we are having a detector to obtain the balance condition. In arm BC we are again having a resistance and a inductor. Then we are having the arm DA. In arm DA we are having a resistance whose value we want to find out and in arm CD we are again having a resistance. This is the AC voltage source which is providing the power supply to the bridge network. R1, L1, R2, L2. This is, this is R3, L3, this is R2 and this is R4. Okay. Now, in the question, we are given that the inductance of 0 0.22 Henry and 20 ohm is measured by comparison with a fixed inductance of 0 0.1 Henry and 40 ohms. So, we are given the value of R1, L1 and R2, L2. Okay. We are given the value of the standard inductance which is connected in the arm BC and a resistance 750 ohm is connected in arm CD. Okay, so this value is also given. We have to find out R2. Now, the general balance equation for an alternating current bridge is Z1, Z4 is equals to Z2, Z3. That is the product of the impedances in the opposite pairs of arms, they are equal. This is Z1, this is Z3, Z2, and this is Z4. So Z1 is the series combination of R1 and L1. So it will be R1 plus J omega L1. Z2 is the R2 resistance. Z3 is the series combination of R3 and L3. So it is R3 plus J omega L3. And Z4 is R4. So we have got the value of Z1, Z2, Z3 and Z4. We are going to simply put its value in this balance equation. So Z1 is what? R1 plus J omega L1 multiplied with Z4 which is R4. Then Z2 which is R2 and Z3 is R3 plus J omega L3. So this is the balance equation. Now in this equation we are having the terms which are having only the real part and there are terms which are having only the imaginary parts. So we are going to separate the real parts and the imaginary parts of this equation. We are having R1 R4 plus J omega L1 R4 equals to R2 R3 plus J omega L3 R2. R1, R4 and R2, R3, they are the real terms. So R1, R4 equals to R2, R3. Sorry. So this equation we have obtained. Now from this equation, R1 is equal to 
R2, R3 upon R4. Or we can say that the R1 upon R2 is equal to R3 upon R4. Okay. Now from this uh, imaginary parts, we are having J omega L1 R4 equals to J omega L3 R2. J omega J terms, they are cancelled. So we are left with L1 equals to or we can say L1 upon L3 is equal to R2 upon R4. Okay. Now, now we have the value of the resistances. So we are going to put their values in this equation. R1 is From this inductance equation, we have got the value of R2 as L1, L3 into R4. So this is L1 divided by L3 multiplied with R4. Now R2 is equals to because we want to find out the value of the inductance which is connected in the arm DA. So arm DA is what? Our resistance R2. Okay. Arm DA is our resistance R2. So R2 value will be R4. R4 is given to us in the question as 750 ohms. And L1 is given to us as 0 0.22 Henry's. And the L3 is given as 0 0.1 Henry. So we are going to put here 0 0.1 Henry. So this will be R2 equals to 1650 ohms. Okay. Now, here we have obtained the ratio that L1 upon L3 is equals to R2 upon R4. L1 upon L3 is equals to R2 upon R4. Now, L1 is what? 0 0.22. And R L3 is what? 0 0.1. So this ratio has come up to 2.2. Now R2 upon R4. R2 is what? 1650. And R4 is what? 750. Okay. So this ratio is also equal to 2.2. Now, here from this equation, we are having R1 upon R2 equals to R3 upon R4, or we can say R1 upon R3 is equals to R2 upon R4. Now, R2 upon R4 ratio, we have already got it as 2.2. So, R1 upon R3, it has to be equal to 2.2 to obtain this balance condition. Okay then only the bridge will be balanced. Now, if we calculate this ratio R1 upon R3, R1 is what? 20 ohms and R3 is what? 40 ohms. So, this ratio comes up to be 0 0.5, which is not equal to 2.2. So, it means that in series with this resistance R1, here in the circuit, in series with this resistance R1, we have to connect a resistance, a small R1, which is compensating for this value. Okay, so it's this difference value. This difference is what? 2.2 minus this. Because here we are going to connect it in series with it. So R1 plus a small R1 upon R3 has to be equal to 2.2. Okay, now value of R1 is 20 plus small R1 upon R3 is 40, which is equal to 2.2. So it is 20 plus R1 equals to 2.2 into 40 
और वी कैन से आर वन इज इक्वल्स टू टू पॉइंट टू इंटू फोर्टीन माइनस ट्वेंटी और वी कैन से आर वन इज कमिंग आउट टू बी सिक्सटी एट ओम्स so a resistance of value 68 ohms have to be connected in series with this resistance so that it is going to achieve the balance for the two ratios r1 upon r3 is equals to r2 upon r4 and is equal to l1 upon l3 so to achieve the inductive balance and the resistive balance this condition has to be satisfied that both these ratio r1 upon r3 and l1 upon l3 should be equals to 2.2 because it was not coming out to be equal so we have added a resistance small r1 in series with this resistance so that this ratio is maintained so if we modify the circuit our new circuit will be so the bridge will now be modified and the new bridge circuit will be so in the question we were asked that we have to find the value of the resistance connected in the arm da and also if any additions are required to achieve the balance those additions or modifications in the bridge we have to find that also so here we have find out that to achieve the balance we have to add a small resistance small r1 in series with it so that both inductive and resistive balance are obtained and also we have find out the value of this uh, resistance r2 also okay so in this way we can solve the problems which are based on the measurement of the unknown inductance by using the maxwell inductance capacitance bridge okay and all the problems based on this that can be solved there is no need to remember the balance equation only we you have to draw the circuit and then use the equation z1 z4 equals to z2 z3 so solving that you can easily find out the value of the unknown variables so i hope that this problem is clear to you thank you